I was struggling to come up with a name for this, but um, my daughter wanted a particular thing for Christmas, which is a pink poodle. Every time I look at that, that's what comes into my head, pink poodle. So let's call it the pink poodle. It's basically a zonker um, with a little bit of difference. Got really nice, iridescent green eyes here from Vineyards. Looks apart, big and heavy, fish will not miss it. Let's go ahead and tie them. So the first thing I want is a, an R90 hook in the vise. This is a very big, thick, strong hook, size 10. Actually, before we go in there, what we want to do is slide the green iridescent eyes onto the hook shank and we'll lock them in place. Come in with your tying thread. What you want to do here is leave yourself a little bit of space. We're going to put the, the zonker strip just in front of these eyes. So leave yourself a little bit of space. A little bit more actually. A bit more space. When you're happy, then just lock them in. Figure away it wraps. Lock them in place. And then come in with a bit of super glue. Just to ensure. You can see I've left a little bit of space there for pulling the zonker up and over. And with your glue. Shouldn't really do that with your fingers, but That's them locked in. If in doubt, get the super glue out. Come down to the end of the, the hook shank. We've got some nice pink zonker strips. I like it a bit thinner than this stuff. This stuff's quite thick, which means it's quite bulbous, but it's quite a thick skin on it. You can see it's quite a thick skin. Pull the fibres apart giving yourself a bit of skin to work on, like so. Coming at the rear, and just bend it round the hook so it beds in nice and tight, like so. Again, you can put some super glue in there. I'm not going to bother because it's going to be secured at the head. I've now got this stuff, which is from a friend um, up at Craft Eye in Edinburgh. I'm not even sure you can still get it, it's bright dub, but any kind of soft synthetic dubbing will do fine, light bright or any of that stuff will be great, hen stuff, and just dub it onto your thread. Make it quite loose, quite bulky. It's not going to come off. It's just all that one colour, you see. Bring it up, try and unbreak it like that, Stephen. Pull it all together, nice dubbing rope, up behind the eyes, and just finish off there. You can bring the thread back up over the front, secure. I want to take another strip of fur and just pull off enough to create a sort of throat hackle. This isn't pulling off, so let's just cut it. Get rid of all that fluff. Just spin the fibres. So, turn the hook around in the vise, catch it in. And come in with your scissors. This is a bit fiddly. Come in with your scissors. We can tidy all this up. We control thread wraps. Ouch. And then pull your, your zonka strip up and over, giving yourself enough space to work with and catch your skin. Like so. It can be an idea actually. Um, this is a an 8 -oh thread, a 6 -oh thread might be a better bet. It's a little bit stronger. Come in as near as you can to the eye. Like I say, it's a thick bit of skin, that, so. We'll have to come in with our thread, really tight wraps. Get it bedded in. You can use your thumb 
to move the skin so that you can actually tidy it. But obviously a thinner skin, it would be a smaller head. But it's not a big deal, it's a big fly. Just make sure you cover up all the skin, nice and tidy. Like so, check that side. A real mouthful for the trout, they're not going to miss it. Come on, your whip finishing tool. Throw the fibres back. And whip finish. A real mouthful. Now, again, just wet your fingers, pull everything back, and come in with some varnish. And there's a lot of thread there at the head, a lot of skin. Make sure you use plenty of varnish just to sort of soak in through. The more thread you've got, obviously, the harder it is for the varnish to soak in. Make sure none's in the rabbit. Here we are. Pink poodle. Great fly for cold water. Try it, see how you get on. Mm -hmm.